so hi guys so today we would be looking at yet another video on tensorflow light in this video we would be looking at an example of tensorflow light how things get converted from tensorflow directly to tensorflow light using the tensorflow light converter so all the credits for this video goes to google developers code labs and google developers for in this video i would be using a, an already built lab of uh, and model of by google developers of uh, tensorflow light the reason i am using this one is right now is because these models get uh, updated time on time along with the android versions and android compatibility as you can see here it has been updated so many times the same model recognize flowers with tensorflow light on android you can see the time it has been updated even for android beta it has been updated so in future we would be covering some part that i have personally used uh, made for means experimenting my models but for now in the initial time we would be looking at the models that have been made by google developers code labs so uh, i would be using the latest one that has been updated on uh, Aga, the latest one that has been updated on august you can choose any one and start the lab so yeah i would be giving the link to the google developers code labs in the description section so coming to the part this is the tens uh, this is the tensorflow uh, file that we would be needing in the form of tf.tf light so basically in this you must be thinking how directly we convert so this is the tensorflow light converter which takes a tensorflow models and generate a tensorflow light model uh, so what it uses is we have two options to, for con using the converter this is the python api this makes it easy to convert model as part of the model development pipeline apply optimization and metadata has many more features uh, command line this only support basic model version so obviously we would be using uh, the python api part uh, it's all because no, no, not the command line so the first thing i'm going to do is change the runtime here to gpu and i would simply connect it and after that coming to the part that uh, what this whole model is going to work like so this is a flower classification uh, we would be using this model for predicting which flower are we showing to our model means we would be predicting what is the flower that is being shown to the model and see the accuracy so we would be deploying this whole model on an android app you can think like that that the android app will be looking at the flower that you are showing to it and the android app would be telling you okay this is a this specific flower so i would the first thing that you need to do here is you can even see here uh, is to i would just yeah the first thing you need to do is import the tensorflow light converter and all and yeah for the first you need to do a import install the tf life converter so this is the uh, lab that is available by uh, google developers so as you can see the tf light model maker is being installed this would be make helping us making the tf light model from a tensorflow file so you can see uh, here if you want to see in this detail uh, model maker, maker library simplifies the process of adapting and converting a tensorflow neural network model to a particular input data that de when deploying this model for an on device ml application that is going to be an android application for now now we would be importing the image classifier data loader and i, I have already told you that these are things some basic version uh, thing that we always import in, in our even our computer vision and as nlp models so yeah this is the tf mod we are importing tensorflow light uh, tensorflow and numpy and pyplot yeah so after that uh, we would be giving our model some images so it's not some images hundreds of images uh, we would be giving to a model this is the if uh, this is the part from where the all the images would be fetched and it would be given to the model yeah so we are defining the path through keras that uh, this is a storage api google storage apis so this is an official api by google you can say and yeah once the model get loaded you can even as as you can see here there's a lot of if, if you want you can even upload your own images here but for now we would be going through the images that we have been already provided 
and after that we would be just writing four lines of code which would be representing uh, all the processes so the first code is going to be we are going to provide the data to our uh, data to our uh, model so we define we have already defined the data you can see here the image path we have already defined so what we are going to do we have already defined the image path we are going to load the data from that image path using data loader dot from image path and then we would be splitting the data between training and testing by data dot split here 0.9 specifies that the 90% uh, of the data would be used for training and 10% of data would be used for testing so i would just click it and yeah, run it it should uh, take a second to optimize yeah. and after that we would be defining the model of how it would uh, of what things it could, would be consisting of so here we are going to do an image classifier model and create uh, and th that model would be created using the train data so yeah the image classifier dot create and we are giving the train data that we have already specified above you can see the layers of the model we already talked about all the how you can even uh, call a, an already created model which is ready to deploy from tensorflow hub if you haven't seen the video you can go to my channel and see the tensorflow hub video so that you know about how you can import a direct model so once your model is being created we i would move forward and after that we would be uh, doing the evaluation of a model to get the loss and accuracy and then after that you can see this is the main line from google.colab import files files.download model.tf lite so this is how yeah, things are going to happen we are going to convert into tf lite even if you go into the documentation you will notice a thing if there is already a model that has been saved you can directly go and download the model so this is an h5 model if you go above you can see here that with open model dot tf lite sf f dot write tf lite model so what we are doing we are going uh, using a converter the converter works like this converter is equal to tf lite dot tf uh, lite dot tf lite converter from saved model and this would be the path to the same model uh, directory inside this you would be giving the directory to the path so and after that you would be opening the model but instead we are going to directly download the model because we are we have to use that in a android application so yeah the second method and after that uh, if you want to convert a keras model to a tensorflow lite model this is the mo you can import tensorflow you import uh, a keras model and after that you compile it you fit it inside the means you train the model and after that you convert that model into tf lite so for now suppose this is the part you want to test it this is the easiest part that you can test for tensorflow uh, model for here i would go to a collab notebook and simply run this you would get to know that how all this is working so till the collab notebook is loading i would just tell you that this is the main important these are the two main important line that we are going to convert the model through so i would simply create a new notebook and i would name it uh, i won't name it for now but i would be linking that in the description section and this is the more uh, notebook that we are going to uh, imply things on now here i would simply paste it and i would keep the runtime as tpu for now because my already uh, because one of my notebook is al already comprising gpu and if you don't know google collab would always uh, will only provide you gpu once at notebook for once so i would simply run the model and uh, after that you can see the model is being trained it's not a very huge model so yeah the model has got converted and the model is being saved as f so if you go here i guess it is you can see here the model dot tf lite so this is how it means if you uh, have to understand from basic we have done everything from a same similar layer from before we have imported tensorflow we have created our model defined it how many layers it would be consisting of we have compiled it after that we have fitted it that is we have trained the model and after that uh, we would convert the model you can see convert the model is the main part because tf lite this is the line you write and this is the part this is the model you want to comprise so you have done mod equals to model and you have done tf lite model is equals to converter dot convert you have finally converted it 
and now what you have done with open model dot tf flight as comma vb as f you are simply writing the tf flight model so you can see here this line to generate a save model what we would be doing i would just remove this line tf dot saved model dot save model and the save kera model kera directory suppose you are not making a new model this is all yeah there you are already uh, or you already have a model saved in your directory then at that time you simply have to put the keras the the model directory here the saved model means the saved model keras directory here and do the same thing and yeah you are good to go so yeah if you want if you want to know that how all this look you can download but believe me it's a dot tf flight file it's of no use because it consists of all metadata stuff yeah so here we are done with that now let's check the loss and accuracy equals to model dot evaluate and uh, with the test data even if you don't do that it won't be a problem so you can see uh, 61 accurate six you can see the accuracy is around 90 percent it's it's not it's pretty good it's around 91 percent for now and now we would export the model to tensorflow light model so you could download it in the left bar side name as the part of your own use so yeah i would be simply doing this uh, model dot export export directory equals to dot for now and you can see the tensorflow assets it all is it is all being written so what you could do you could download the train model by clicking on the folder icon on the left hand right click on tensorflow dot model dot tf right and select model or run, or down, run the following code so as you can see from here also you can download or if you want you can even write a code for specifically for that that is the yeah you can see here in this google collaboratory that if you want to download through this you are go good to go with this part now if i run this uh yeah you can see that it's downloading the you can see the model has got downloaded so this is how all things are going to work for now you can see the model is being trained and after the model gets trained you can simply download the whole model and use it in your android application so uh, after that after this we can continue to the code lab uh, so yeah you can download this model that has been uh, that has been converted to model.tf light and yeah you are good to go with tensorflow light part now you can see here yeah the model has been downloaded and if you click on this file believe me it's, it's won't be displayed even on vs code because it's all definitely metadata type so yeah you, you won't be able to see what's inside the file directly yeah you can use some to, as third party tools to see but but the main goal is to put that in the android application so that we would be doing the next video so yeah for this video we got to know how to convert tensorflow to uh, model to tensorflow light and put it in our local local uh, directory and then use it in our android application so i would be using android studio in the next video where i would be putting my model in so that that is it for the today's video thank you and have a nice day